the first question that we should ask is, do you believe or to what degree do you believe that AI will be transformative? And if you're in the camp that this is going to be something that comes close, meets or exceeds the hype, then Microsoft is going to go up. There's no doubt about it. Um, I think there are better places to invest related to AI, which uh, just given their poll position may seem a little bit out of touch. But the, uh, the simple reason is that Microsoft doesn't have full control of their AI destiny, is that they, of course, work closely with OpenAI, but their uh, ownership is uh, not an equity ownership. It's related to revenue. So they, uh, OpenAI can do things like do a deal with Apple. And ultimately, is uh, Microsoft has worked more, is building more of these small language models to try to diversify. And so I think that uh, they will clearly benefit, but we think that the best position company, despite the news yesterday around search GPT, is Google. And just to put that in the contrast to Microsoft is Google, they own their foundation large language model, they have advanced silicon, and they have distribution of six products that have a billion or more daily active users. And that's something, those are three things that Microsoft can only claim two of. Gene, there's so much of this that's hope and a prayer and a promise when it comes to, to AI. So picking up on what you said and Tom's good counsel that we should look forward, let me look back only briefly to say, what can we take away from what we heard from Google, from Alphabet this week, and, and layer that onto what we're going to hear next week from these other companies? I, I hear what you're saying about Microsoft and the way that they're approaching AI, but is, is there the potential that this is perhaps a savvy move and that you know if this doesn't pan out to be as transformative, as widely transformative as many people think, uh, not being all in on it might in fact be a good thing going forward. Well, I think it would be um, a historical mistake if they're not in, that, that's my opinion, but let's take the, the approach that uh, the approach that the uh, that they're spending a lot of money and it, it may be uh, not money well spent. So just quickly to kind of frame that in, is that uh, these companies are spending about 50 billion a year on capex. So you figure over a three year period, 150 billion. Uh, they're generating about 100 billion a year in uh, income. Of that capex, by the way, about half of it is related to AI. So said another way, 75 billion over three years. Uh, their market caps are two plus trillion dollars. And as Zuckerberg said uh, this week in his Bloomberg podcast, that uh, there's just too much risk if they don't pursue this, uh, because it is the, the biggest change, as he talked about, in the next 10 to 15 years. I think it's the biggest change in the yeah. next 50. But the, uh, the point is, is that I, I think that uh, if uh, one of these companies takes the approach of, uh, let's save $10 billion here or $10 billion there, over a uh, over a year period, I think it could be a uh, just a historic um, mistake. And so, they get it. Google said it. Sundar said on their call that they have to continue to embrace capex. And and ultimately, Dave, that that is the that's the central question about AI investors should focus right. in on at least over the next year or two years is what does that capex right. pace look like.